Hey, David here from Animator Artist Life. Now, this is the start of a new free series of videos on how to build a character in 3D from start to finish. Now, if you've never built a character before, or maybe you have some experience already, you should still learn some useful skills. Now, I'll be using Maya, but you can also follow along in other programs like Blender or 3D Max, just to note that the menus and short keys will differ. So we start from the very beginning, building a design up piece by piece using simple poly modeling of the body, head, hair, and even clothes for your character. We'll cover a range of useful techniques and we'll cover UV layout, textures, materials. So by the end of this, you will have a fully 3D modeled and textured character. You can then later rig for animation. So let's get going. Hey guys, so when starting a new character, you probably have a design in mind. You might have a, a sketch or full color concept art. Um, or you might even just, like sometimes I do, just get straight into Maya or, or whatever and just sort of freeform modeling, see what happens. But for the purpose of this um, training series, I wanted to show you how to use image planes and how they can be uh, really useful. So um, what I've done is I've created, um, it's, it's nothing detailed, it's just um, it's just a, a little character I've knocked up in Adobe Illustrator. Um, if you've just got a sketch of yours, that's fine, just scan it in. Uh, that's perfectly fine. But what is important is the fact that um, things are lined up. So uh, what I've done is I've done a, a front profile and a side profile and um, we need to make just sort of uh, things line up. So the bottom of the feet, um, you can see that I've aligned sort of the top of the nose of this guide, um, the bottom of the uh, of the face, you know, just make sure things line up because when we bring them into Maya um, and we're modeling in these different views, we want them, we, we want them to be able to line up. Now, um, keep in mind, things, things and will change from your design. This is just to give me um, a, a, a sort of good idea of proportions, um, but you know, it, it's a creative process. You might even adapt the, 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 the design as you go. You might decide to move his eyes further apart. You might decide to shrink his head down, and that's fine. But these image planes give you a really good starting point. So um, whether you've got them in Adobe Illustrator, full color or a sketch, it doesn't matter. You might even have a back profile as well, um, or even a top if you're building something something crazy. Um, but you know, front and side is good is is really good enough to get going. So just wanted to point that out. Make sure things line up for when we bring them into Maya. So let's go straight into Maya and let's 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 bring in these image planes. So what I've got is I've got a brand new scene. I'm going to hit the space bar to bring up my multi. Um, view. So you've got your uh, top, front, side and um, your standard perspective. And um, if you haven't used image planes before it's really easy. So we're going to first of all go to the front um, uh, view which is here and we're going to go view, image plane, import image and then we're going to simply go to, what you need to do is you need to set your uh, project first. So if you're in the wrong project just go file um, uh, either recent projects uh, it, you might have it listed here or you might need to go set project and just set your project. It's important to set your project before you do anything on any new project because it, um, it 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 feeds in it, it knows that it knows the the file path for your source images, your textures and all those sorts of things. So now if I just go um, um, new file, uh, we should be uh, ready. it automatically will go to the proper folder instead of me trying to search for it. So image planes import image and now you can see them in the correct folder. I want my cartoon boy image planes and I'm going to load in the front and there we go he comes in already and you can see him also in the perspective view up here and now I'm going to go over to my side profile view image plane import image and I'm going to bring in the side image and there we go you've got both um, uh, both set up there. So you, as you can see, you can see them in all your top views and they're selectable and they're movable. So if I hit the space, roll over, if, whatever um, uh, panel you roll over your mouse, you will go to, uh, to to that view. So if I want to go to side view, roll the mouse over, hit space bar, hit space bar again, space bar, space bar, space bar, really quick and easy. So as you can see, here's our character and this is what this is going to help us um, uh, model to. So I'm just going to select them and I'm going to uh, hit my uh, W key to move and I'm just going to move them up and I want the feet, as you can see, I want the feet on the bottom plane. So you can see his feet are on the bottom plane um, and I want to work a bit bigger than this so I'm just going to go over to the uh, uh, channel box and I'm going to scale them up um, 
uh, double the size. I don't, I don't like to work that small. To be honest, when you when you get right through and you finish the character and you go to rigging it, um, you'll be scaling it up to, um, uh, to to real world scales. But for modeling, this is fine. I just don't like to be too small. But it's it's you know you work whatever way you want. So I'm going to quickly move the feet up, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to hit over into uh, the perspective view and obviously if we're modeling here things are going to get in the way so we just need to move things um, over so select the side profile move it right over select the front part, uh, profile move it right back and there you go now if you look in our in our profiles if we say um, if we added our geometry in here so say if we added in um, a, a, a cube here as you can see It's not going to get in our way as if um, if it was here as it was before it would get in our way and the beauty about doing image planes as well you can obviously um, put your um, texture onto a plane or something but the beauty about the image planes is it works with um, it works with wireframe as well so if I uh, go to this view hit my four key to go to wireframe the image plane stays in full color so now you can see I can um, I can move my cube around, it's, a, it's, it's moving here, and here's in wireframe, if I roll over this view, hit 4, this one will go in, in wireframe, and all the time the image planes stay in full colour, so we will be working in all the views at the same time and hopping back and forth um, to the perspective, it's very important when you're polymodeling that you've got all these um, you know, different views to go from, you can work in wireframe, and then you can just hit the 5 key and go back to solid this view, and the same with this one. Um, and another thing uh, I just want to show you is, if you want, you can um, hide the view of your image planes. So, as well as having um, up here, you've got show and you've got image planes and the, um, everything you can turn off. There's image planes. You can also do this permanently. If you go, if you select your image plane here, and go into your attribute editor. Um, if you look here, you've got looking uh, in all views. So I've got this selected over here, and I just go looking through camera and it will now only look through the camera you see and I've only done it for that image plane again you can do this one for this so I mean I like to have them on anyway um, but feel free they might you know it, it's all down to preference so um, there we are that is how to set up the um, image planes um, you know you can move these around what you don't want to do is move this this way because it's off center if you did this you would not be modeling. So keep it dead in um, uh, center, um, set it up to however you, your pre uh, preference is, and um, yeah, you are ready to go. So let's move on to the modeling, and I will see you in the next video.